Well, March is Women's History Month, and we're taking the opportunity to highlight the women who have served our country and continue to serve in more ways than one. Today, we're joined by Melinda Christie of Greenbrier Mountain Whitetails in West Virginia. Thank you so much, Melinda, for joining us today. Now, prior to your current career in agriculture, you were in the U.S. Coast Guard. Tell us briefly about the path you followed there. Uh, well, I joined in 1994, and I was at a small boat station down in Florida in the Palm Beaches where we did fire, uh, firefighting, uh, law enforcement boardings, uh, search and rescue, and uh, emergency uh, medical care, which I was uh, one of the station EMTs. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you for your service there. Now, you were raised around dairy and horse farms, but following your service in the Coast Guard, you chose another path in agriculture. Tell us about your current operation. Well, we raise white-tailed deer. Um, we went for something a little bit different, but in 2016, I believe, West Virginia made deer farming agricultural. So we decided that we were going to invest in follow a path of raising white-tailed deer looking for those big bucks. Oh, and I tell you what, I actually lived in West Virginia for a little bit, and that is a beautiful area if you've never been there, absolutely gorgeous. So talk a little bit about why agriculture interested you. Well, I really enjoy being around animals. Um, I have had issues with PTSD in the, back, in the past, and uh, being around deer especially, they're very calming to me. Um, they seem to bring out the gentle nature and help me to calm down and focus when I have anxiety issues. So being around animals has been very therapeutic for me. That is an incredible correlation there because I know, you know, they've used horses for therapy and things for calming and dogs and pets. I didn't think about deer in that manner, but I can see very much how that um, would be the case. Talk a little bit more um, about your farm. Well, currently we have 30 deer. Um, of those, 10 of them are bucks. Three of those bucks are uh, butt fawns. And then uh, most of them are pregnant does. So we're looking forward to a very active season here, the end of May into June. We're hoping to deliver somewhere around 40 uh, new fawns. So we have our fingers crossed to see how that turns out. But uh, here we we bottle feed some of the fawns. Sometimes they're rejected by the mothers. Um, we take care of their, their daily needs. Uh, we provide them with lots of attention. Deer uh, do well when they're not stressed, and not being stressed means being familiar with their handlers. So we spend a lot of time in the field with them, and they get to know us just as much as we get to know them. Ah, oh, that is quite an operation you have there, and so glad that that is helping you out as well. That is Melinda Christie. Thank you so much for your service there in the U.S. Coast Guard and what you're doing there in West Virginia with your farm.